ngày mai vẫn đến nắng vẫn ươm vàng mà người biến mất như pháo hoa tàn dòng thứ trao nhau năm mới theo mây ngàn well as you can see here is my hometown i was actually born and brought up in quang yen it's a small coastal town in quang yen province which is in the north of vietnam well Many foreigners think it's hot in Quang Yen all year round, but it's really not. The summer days are really beautiful, not too hot, just about 32 or 33 degrees. At this time, it is cold this day. I don't know why. Today's average temperature is about 80 degrees. Tao, the old streets and buildings are not just relics. They are the evidence for our rich history, especially the Bad Yang Street Field. It is created in Ngo Dynasty. The piles were made of wood and they are really sharp that were used to drive away the invaders by Mopian in 938. Boba Temple is really famous too. It was built in 1953. The Boba Temple in Quang Yen is a special place that shows our cultural history. It's a peaceful spot with pretty buildings and gardens. People come here to pray and think. It's a calm place with beautiful altars and nice chants. The inhabitants here are really nice and it feels like a big family whether you are at the market or in the town square which are known as busy and noisy places everyone is close and friendly neighbors know each other and smiles are everywhere rice is the most important state in vietnam well the main agriculture in Quang Yen is growing rice and bodies. It is mainly elderly people's job. As the sun rises, the farmers get up and use traditional methods in large green fields. If you come to Quang Yen, but don't visit the rice fields, it's like you have never really been to Quang Yen. Quang Yen Town is like a miniaturized Vietnam. It has many advantages, natural opportunities to become a big city, even a private province in the future. It's my opinion. How about yours? If you feel sad and overthink about your plan, just go to Quang Yen and you will find the inspiring source for what to do next. Now, thanks for hanging out and enjoying the trip to Quang Yen with me.